What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman. The inevitable update about Avengers 5. There's no way we were going to make it out of the Comic-Con weekend without hearing something about the new Avengers team. I was on record all week saying you don't take something and make it the most popular franchise in the entire world just to make it finished and then make it disappear. That's not Disney's MO. Of course there's going to be another Avengers, but you're going to have to take a small break. MTV News finally caught up with Kevin Feige and has direct quotes of him talking about Avengers 5. What can we expect? Expect, what the new team will be, what it'll look like, and when we may see it. We're going to break down everything Kevin Feige said about the new Avengers and what's going to happen with Avengers 5. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros as well as a whole slew of other Marvel related stuff, including copies of Endgame in DVD and Blu ray as soon as they go on sale at the end of this week. All you have to do hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, turn alerts on, leave a like and a comment on this video. And if you want, stick around to the end of the video. I'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So like I said, MTV News caught up with Kevin Feige for a short interview right after they had unveiled their Phase 4 slate, and it started with a question prompted by this teaser right here for the Hawkeye TV show that we now know, given this graphic that Jeremy Renner posted to his own Instagram, that not only will the show focus on him and his past Ronin character that's coming from Kevin Feige himself, but would introduce the character of Kate Bishop, prompting the interviewer to ask Kevin Feige, might we see Kate Bishop on a new or young Avengers team, and does Kevin Feige know what the next Avenger team looks like? And Kevin Feige simply answered, yes, I do know what it'll look like, but it may look very different than the one you're used to. Some you've met, and some you haven't. He then continued by confirming that they know what they're gonna do for actually the next five years, that they have two or three more years worth of announcements than they gave tonight, but he figured, hey, 11 projects, 10 that are coming in phase four, plus the announcement of Blade that's not technically included in phase four, that was enough for one announcement panel at a Hall H, and he's right, enough metaphorical unwrappings for a comic Christmas, and it was for the rest of us. That was a lot of fun, especially now that we've gotten to see a lot of the video and the audio. Quick shout out to a lot of the places sourcing that. We sincerely appreciate it for all of us that couldn't be in the room. Now, these next two years are called quote unquote phase four, even though Kevin Feige said they wouldn't be doing that anymore. It's just easier to use that lingo that we've all become used to. But now they know the next two to three years after that. And there's a good chance that at D23, which is coming in just a month, we might hear some more details about that and get some more titles. But of course, there are some things at play. It's hard to lock in details, even a title detail, when the script hasn't even started to be written, even though Taika Waititi was able to do that for Love and Thunder. He had a clear idea idea of what he wanted to do in bringing back Natalie Portman and doing that storyline. So he was able to pitch the title without the script, but without the script, sometimes the titles are impossible. You need placeholder titles. It may be that they haven't even gotten to that point of pre-pro on some of these projects. It may also be that they didn't want to overshadow all of these franchises with the announcement of the new Avengers already. Now, there are some clues as to what's already happened and who we know is left that can play a role in the new Avengers team. But this image right here that we had done at our channel doesn't include any of the new Avengers. The new characters they've yet to introduce everyone from Kate Bishop to Shang-Chi and anyone else with the proximity to be included in this team. This picture also includes some members, specifically Rhodey's War Machine and or the Hulk that may not be anywhere to be found or even be around the next time there's an Avengers team to respond to some Avengers level event. Speaking of an Avengers level event, what if it's not an Avengers level event? What if it's a Fantastic Four level event? We know there's a new franchise coming a new family coming in the Fantastic Four. And one of my arguments leading up to this new Phase 4 Slate announcement was, do you have room for an Avengers team and a Fantastic Four team. And I think that you do, considering they're going to introduce the multiverse, there's going to be more than enough room. The idea, though, that there's enough room in the zeitgeist that we can focus our attention on two teams like that is probably the thing that's more at hand. And Marvel Studios know how to do this. They're pros at juggling. Look, they just unveiled 10 projects in the next 24 months. That's one project coming out every two and a half months. That's absolutely insane. And if anyone can pull that off, it's Marvel Studios who knew how to juggle Captain Marvel, Spider-Man, and Avengers Endgame all within the first half of 2019. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Are you super excited to race towards a new Avengers title or are you cool buying your time in the meantime while they build this all out for the next 24 months and sort of reshape the Marvel Cinematic Universe as we know it? And quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right, we're giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, one of which is at the 500,000 subscriber mark. We should hit that in a couple of months. All you gotta do, hit the sub button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video. We're also giving away another PlayStation 
PlayStation 4 Pro over on my Spotify account, All Fires. It's free and easy to enter that one. All you got to do is jump through a couple more hoops. Follow the link down in the description in the comments below. If you have a Spotify account, great. If you don't, it's free to make one. All you need is an email. Follow my account, All Fires. Stream the song. Sometimes it won't let you stream my specific song. Just hit the play button. Screenshot that. Then send the screenshot to everythingalwaysyt at gmail.com. That's everythingalwaysyt at gmail.com. Again, far fewer people are going to do this than sub here at the channel. Jump through a couple more hoops. It'll greatly boost your odds of winning a PlayStation 4 Pro. We're also still giving away that one here at the channel. We'll also be giving away DVDs and Blu-rays when they come out on sale next week. Just hit the sub button. Hit the notification bell. Turn alerts on so that you can like and comment comment videos because the more videos you like and comment on the better chance you have of winning my name is michael roman this is everything always thanks for checking out the channel guys and stick around we'll be posting again real real soon